Hi, how's it going, resident of Collinwood here? I'm here to give my thoughts on why my opinion to, well, more of my opinion, of why I feel Tony Todd's 1990 Night of the Living Dead performance is better than his Candyman performance. You know, prior to 1990, when you look at where African American actors were in horror, it was few and far between. And I mean very few. You only had two other actors, and it, it was the, um, the young boy in, um, Friday the 13th part 5 where with um, I would say the teenage or young adult Tommy Jarvis that I would say more adult he's an adult I mean he looks young though so um, a new beginning where he's getting put over and I lo I love that. I love that that finally you have somewhat of a put over. Not a lot. And then uh, Return of the Living Dead where you see but the thing with the Return of the Living Dead and I love Return of the Living Dead. There's so many characters in Return of the Living Dead. So really there's no stand he, he does stand out but he doesn't stand above them he he's he gets put over somewhat but not to the point he's standing above them in my opinion for 1990s return of living dead tom savini's another living dead and yes, Tom, Tom Savini does deserve that. Tom Savini in 1990s deserves that the way John Carpenter deserved Halloween, in my opinion. Um, if you disagree with that, that's fine. I'm not going to, you know, knock you if you disagree. Tony Todd did so many great things, but let me tell you the one moment where I felt that there was somewhat of a message being sent, and again, this is my opinion. There's a scene where Tony Todd and the, the father of the girl who's going to turn into a zombie are arguing over a door. And the door is too weak. Tony Todd is saying, Tony Todd's character is saying that to him. The door is too weak. The, they'll punch, the, they'll not, they'll. No, it's too weak. And I, and Tony Todd puts his fist through the door. This is what I mean by. The character just isn't sending the message. The actor is sending the message. Enough is enough. It is our time. And by what I mean our time, the African American community's time to, to shine. To shine in horror. And to me, Tony Todd was sending that message. Whether you agree or disagree, Tony Todd was sending that message, in my opinion. He was sending that message, this is our time. No more five minutes, ten minutes, all we get killed off. It is our time to shine. And I love that. I don't know if he is doing that on purpose. I don't know if he is sending that 
in my opinion, he's sending that message. That's what I saw as a viewer. Now, if Tony Todd says no, he wasn't, okay, then I'm, I'm wrong. I'm saying that now. If Tony Todd says no, I wasn't sending that message, then okay, I'm wrong. And I'm saying that here now. But only if Tony Todd says that am I saying that I'm wrong. Not anyone else. Because it was Tony Todd who did it, not anyone else. So that's why I feel Tony. And let me tell you where I get this from. There's some historic behind this. Go watch the movie, keyword the movie, the 1960s movie, In the Heat of the Night. Sidney Portier plays Virgil Tibbs. There's a scene where a slave owner gets accused by Sidney Portier, all but accused, uh, by Sidney Portier's character of murdering someone. And the slave owner smacks Virgil Tibbs, Sidney Portier's character. Well, in response to his smack, Virgil's Tibbs smacks him back. Like to say, enough is enough. You're not going to smack me, smack me and get away with it. And I love that scene. That's what, that's what my favorite scene in, in the Eve of the Night. Because it's about race. Sidney Portier is saying to the African American community, do not turn the other cheek. Don't turn the other cheek. Smack them back. If they're going to smack you, you smack them back. Not turn the other cheek. And I love that. I love that message. And as much as I love that message, that if Tony Todd says no, if Tony Todd says no, he wasn't, that's not what he was doing. He was just acting to the point of getting his character across. That's fine. Uh, okay, then I'm wrong. And I'm sitting here telling you that if Tony Todd says that. Um, if you disagree, that's fine. If you, But to me, he really... Look, Candyman was... Candyman launched his career. Candyman... You, you knew damn well who Tony Todd was after Candyman. No argument. But what Tony Todd did in 1990's Night of the Living Dead, he set the bar for the, for, to me, for the African American community in horror. He set the bar prior to LL Cool J in, in H2O. Prior to Buster Rhymes for Halloween Resurrection, he set the bar, in my opinion. So that's why I feel Tony Todd's 1990 Night of the Living Dead remake performance is better than his Candyman performance. Thank you. You guys have a good one.